Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of ABG News. Olisi, the son of Nube is my name and I hope I find you well. Having a wonderful Friday and looking up to a good weekend ahead. Uh, I'm here just to briefly update uh, on the Zimbabwe exemption permit uh, on the latest situation regarding uh, the ongoing saga regarding the Zimbabwean exemption permit. You will remember that yesterday I came here to uh, report that the Minister of Home Affairs or the Department of Home Affairs had uh, acceded to the demands of the Houting High Court uh, ruling in June 2023, that is June this year, where the court said uh, that the decision to cancel the Zimbabwean exemption permit was unconstitutional, illegal, and therefore invalid. So you will remember that the minister then uh, went to the same court uh, to apply for leave to appeal that June judgment, uh, which had uh, in his ruling uh, set June 2024 as the actual expiry date of the Zimbabwe exemption permit, the minister had initially extended this validity of the ZEP, that is a moratorium that he had given to ZEP holders to December 31. You will know that the permits actually expired on the 31st of December 2021, but the minister, using his powers as the minister, extended, uh, I think it's been twice or thrice, uh, until uh, he reached the decision to extend to the 31st of December 2023. But the court in its ruling put uh, the expiry date of the moratorium, that is the expiry date of the ZEP to June 30, 2024. Then the minister sought leave to appeal that judgment, which also found that uh, the decision to cancel the ZEP was reached without due consultation with the Zimbabwe exemption permit holders. Some stakeholders involved uh, in the discussions with the minister and also other people and bodies who have uh, a stake or an interest in the Zimbabweans who have the Zimbabwe exemption permit. So now we came here yesterday uh, and reported that based on uh, our own uh, findings, on our own inquiries and sources within the Department of Home Affairs, uh, the minister had secretly extended the ZEP to June 30, 2024, as per the requirement of the court. But also you will remember that the minister had previously said that he didn't have any problems extending the ZEP as and when a need arose. So you will know that only two months are remaining before we get to December 31, which was the initial date that the Zimbabwean exemption permit was, according to the minister's latest uh, order, supposed to expire. So now what we are gathering also is that the Helen Sussman Foundation, which is the organization, uh, NGO rather, which took the government to court on the uh, cancellation of the ZEP without consultation and one that case has already gone to court to s demand that the minister um, comes out in the open and implements the judgment of the court that is the judgment which ruled that uh, the decision to cancel the ZEP was invalid and in unconstitutional and illegal and also they want the minister to come out in the open and uh, declare that he is indeed abiding by the court decision to extend the Zimbabwean exemption permit to June 30, 2024. You will know that even yesterday when we came here to update you on the clandestine or secret uh, extension to June 2024 of the ZEP by the Department of Home Affairs. There has been, we also highlighted that there has been no official communication to ZEP holders, to the public or to the press. Now people are still uh, 
in a quandary as to what is going to happen uh, because others are already facing problems with their banks, especially NetBank. They have been cancelling, or let me say, freezing people's accounts on the basis that their payments are two months before expiry. You'll know that there are some things that demand that three months before the expiry of your permit, you should finish them with a new document or a proof that you're going to get a new document. So there are people who've, who've come forward to say that they've had their banks uh, demanding new permits or threatening to close their accounts if they don't bring proof that they have applied for new permits or if they don't bring these new permits. And the banks have been of the opinion that the Zimbabwe exemption permit is going to expire in December, except only Capitec, which has been the one that has been uh, always uh, been the first to inform its clients that their expiry, the expiry date of their permits has been extended. And we have it on good, on good authority that Capitec uh, account holders who are also members of the Zimbabwean community who are using the Zimbabwean exemption permits have been informed that the Department of Home Affairs has already informed the bank that the expiry of the Zimbabwean exemption permit is actually now on the 20, on the 30th of June 2024. But the Helen Sussman Foundation wants the minister or the Department of Home Affairs to come out in the open and make this, declar this declaration publicly so that ZEP holders are not found wanting, especially in their as they prepare for the new year, you will know that there are schools where children of ZEP holders are attending, and these have been uh, demanding that these children or these pupils bring forth their new permits or uh, some correspondence from the Department of Home Affairs indicating when exactly these permits are going to expire if those dates are set to be uh, after the 31st uh, of December. There are also uh, licensing departments where people have been failing to renew their licenses, where they've been failing to renew their, li uh, their, 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 their license discs, where they've been failing to renew their car registrations because uh, those departments have it on good authority from the minister that the expiry of the ZEP is not proceeding beyond the 31st of December this year. So all these departments have been giving Zimbabwean exemption permit holders problems when they try to go and renew their documents. So the Helen Sussman Foundation, I'm going to go through uh, an article we speak, which speaks to their latest court case. So they've made an application uh, to the Pretoria High Court to enforce the June 2023 order that the Zimbabwean exemption permit remains valid. So you will know also that there is a pending court case in which the minister wants to take the court further, that he wants to take this same ruling further to the Supreme Court of Appeal because he believes that there's been, uh, the court has tempered with his powers as the minister, with the powers of the executive uh, to do certain or to, to make certain decisions. He's saying there should be a separation of powers between the judiciary and the I mean and the executive. So he believes that in reaching the ruling that the ZEP cancellation was invalid, unconstitutional and therefore illegal, the court uh, went ultra virus um, its mandate it went against its powers as the, uh, the, the the judiciary and overstepped its authority into temporary with the powers of the executive or the decision making powers of the executive so the decision to go to court by the helen Sussman foundation comes after the home affairs minister uh, challenged the ruling that saw him lose an application relating to the extension of the Zimbabwean exemption permit or the cancellation of the Zimbabwean exemption permit. You remember that in October, uh, on, on the 16th of October, the court found the minister's appeal to the June 2023 20, uh, judgment 
to not be having any prospect of success. Therefore, it dismissed the minister's application for leave to appeal that judgment. So the Helen Sudman executive director, Nicole Fritz, has said the foundation is making the application out of necessity because when the minister first signaled his intention to appeal to the courts, uh, to appeal the courts uh, June 22, 23 judgment, the HS7 asked him to leave the ZEP in place until he exhausted the appeal process. But he refused. That is uh, Dr. Aaron Mutsualeti. So the foundation has once again asked him to abide by the court's June 2023 judgment. But the minister has uh, allegedly also refused, instead indicating that uh, he planned to continue his appeal by approaching the Supreme Court of Appeal. So in the face of such unyielding resistance to perhaps the law's most basic demand that affected parties are odd fair and rational process when the rights are adversely affected when their rights are adversely affected the hsf now seeks the court to intervene once more to relieve the excruciating uncertainty that the minister's actions uh present to zep walters because they are going to be traveling to zimbabwe in two months time some have already begun the process uh, of traveling to Zimbabwe for the holidays, but now they are uncertain as to whether when they come back in January, they will be allowed to get in uh, into South Africa. While you will know that some have already applied for waivers and permits and the adjudication process takes time and they don't know if they are going to get the new permits or if they are going to be allowed into South Africa pending whatever decisions are going to be taken by the minister beyond the 31st of December. So without the application, there is a risk of the court's June 2023 judgment being suspended. That is, if the minister doesn't apply, uh, uh, that is, if the minister doesn't abide by the court's decision, that is, if he doesn't come out in the open and say, okay, we are abiding by the court's decision to extend the ZEP to June 2023, the 30th. So the Helen Susman's Foundation believes that without it making this new application, uh, there is a risk to the June 2023 judgment. In the case that the minister goes to court, the Supreme Court of Appeal is likely to be what? To be suspended. The June 2023 expiry date is likely to be suspended. So that's why they are going to the court to force the minister to abide by the court's decision to extend the ZEP to 2023 that is uh, to the June uh, twenty uh, to the June thirtieth, twenty twenty four deadline. Excuse me for that. So this is the reason why the Helen Susman is, Foundation is going to court to make sure that the minister not only abides by the decision of the court, but also makes it makes that commitment that he is abiding with that judgment, so that it then leaves ZEP holders with certainty that they will go to Zimbabwe and come back with a June 2024 deadline within their minds so that they can do whatever the planning they want to do going to December, going beyond December and up to June. If the minister lodges his appeal at the Supreme Court of Appeal, the judgment will be suspended. That would mean that the ZEP expires roughly two months from now on 31 December 2023. That is the argument that Fritz is presenting. She said that without a court order providing certainty to ZEP holders, they will depend upon the possibility of the minister granting them further piecemeal extensions. Government's decisions in making of this sort for ZEP holders and South Africans alike has no place in a country of laws. That is the Helen Sussman's foundation's argument. So they want the minister to abide by the court's decision, but not only do so, but also to come out in the open and declare that he is indeed abiding so that ZEP holders and those that are concerned with their plight can then plan going further, going forward. So this is what we have. We have already uh, it on good authority that the minister has extended the validity of the ZEP to 30th of June 2024, but this again remains uh, hazy because 
ZEP holders still are uncertain until they get communication from the Department of Home Affairs to that effect or the minister at least comes out in the open and issues a press statement or a public statement that indeed the ZEP has been extended to June 30. 2024 so this is that this is what we thought we had to come and clarify before because people are asking that if indeed the zep has been extended why are they still facing problems with their banks why are they still facing problems with their children's schools why are they feel still facing problems with their employers why are they still facing problems with government departments than like the licensing department when they want to renew their vehicle licenses uh, their vehicle registration documents and their own driver's licenses because they've been told that until unless and until the new they bring new permits these services will not be extended to them so they've been asking us why the minister is taking time to then come out in the open and uh, uh, announce that the ZEP validity has been extended to June 30, 2024. We expect the minister to make that uh, declaration, to make that uh, announcement, but we don't know when it is going to come. But for now, we have it, of course, not from the Department of Home Affairs uh, officially, but from some sources within the department and banks like Capitec, which, is, which have already uh, informed their clients that or their account holders that the ZEP has been extended to June 2024 on the 30th. On the 30th. Uh, so this is what we have for you. Continue applying for those permits. Continue applying for those waivers. But know that the ZEP is extended to June 30, 2024. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, to like this video and share it.